Hi and welcome to the ninth ARCHICAD video tutorial for beginners. In this video I'm going to be talking about the column tool. I am back on my ground floor and I'm going to select my column tool right here. And first of all we're going to be talking about placement options. The first placement option is the really simple one. You just do one click and you have one column placed. I'm going to actually select my marquee tool. I'm going to do a rectangular marquee right over here and I'm going to press F5 and we can see our column right over there. In order to be able to see a little bit better what we're actually doing on the ground floor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on my ground floor. I'm going to select this slab by holding down shift and clicking and also clicking on the column while still holding down the shift key. I'm going to do Ctrl and D on my keyboard and I'm going to move both of them to the right. And now I'm going to do a new marquee over here and I'm going to press F5. Now we can see a little bit better what we're doing. We can see the column that we placed before. It's just the most basic way of placing a column. I'm going to right click and remove my marquee and again select my column tool and the second placement option is a rotated placement option which means that you do one click which will be the center point of your column and the second click is going to be the direction in which you want to rotate your column you could either place it like this or you can just select the column that you placed before press ctrl plus e and just rotate it again so it's up to you what you want to do in order to be able to use this third column placement option which is the revolved option you're gonna have to have an inclined column so you're just gonna click over here and then input an angle let's say 45 degrees and now you can see this is usable now so you can actually click on it you're gonna do one click which will be again the center axis of your column the second click will be the angle of rotation and then the third click is going to represent the rotation of your column around its own axis so if we do it like I don't know let's say here we can see it looks like that in the for, for plan and if we click F3 we're going to see that it is both inclined and rotated around its axis so that's the third placement option for your column i'm gonna go back in my floor plan i'm gonna alt click on one of these columns and i'm gonna actually select the most simple way of placing one and then i'm just gonna move forward and talk about the uh, other settings that you can change uh, which are the core structure you can have either a, a rectangular column a circular one or a complex profile one the rectangular is pretty self-explanatory you just have a rectangular column circular you have a circular column and the complex profile we've talked about complex profile before but basically you can either use one of these complex profile that come by default with archicad or you can um, make your own which i've talked about how you can make your own complex pro profile in a different video i'm gonna link that somewhere on your screen again the next few settings I'm gonna actually alt click again on this first one and then the next settings are the the ones found under this floor plan and section tab these settings are pretty self-explanatory you can either make your column visible on all, all relevant stories or on home story only how it is displayed it can be either projected which is what we've been using so far let's say we want to just see the outlines of a column and then if we do a click we can only see the outlines so that's another option over here you can change the cut surfaces core line types and core line pens let's just select over here the um, let's say masonry block filler structure and also make sure we can see the projected uh, floor plan display and we do a click we can see that now we have the masonry block pattern in our column 
if we select this column and we go to floor plan and section and if we want to change the um, cut fill pans we're gonna click over here select both and then we can either change the foreground pan we're gonna have it be blue you can see it changed and the background it can be red and also the core line pan you can change it to orange so this is how you can change the appearance of your column in your floor plan view also if you select this other column you can change the pan of the uncut line so these are the lines that aren't cut we're gonna change it to green we can see these are gonna be green so this is where you basically change the appearance of your column in the floor plan you can even over here make sure you have no crosshair so have it be plain then if you place one you don't have those axes on your columns and so on and so forth it's not very complicated basically you just go here read everything and make sure you change whatever you want to change the next thing over here you have the home story of your column so by default it goes to the current story that you're on is going to be the ground floor of your column if you would want that to be a different one you can set it from here and also you can put the top of your column and the top of your column is relevant in over here in the next box because as you can see here by default you have the home the height and home offset of your column so let's say we place a column over here and we go back in our 3d view which the one we placed i think is this one and we select it if we change the top story to let's say first story you can see it automatically became taller all the way up to the first story you can also se set it up to the second story and then again it becomes taller it goes up to the second story so this top story is relevant for that also if you don't want to have it depend on the top story you can just select here project zero and now you can just input the height of your column so let's say five meters and now it doesn't depend on the top story again okay the next thing you can change is the dimensions of your column so if we go back in our 2d view most of the columns that we placed are 30 by 30 from here you can then change the dimensions let's say half a meter you can see it's half a meter now if you unlink the dimensions you can have one side of the column be half a meter the other 30 centimeters so you can actually play with it like that as well over here you can add or remove the outer layer of your column so if we add it we can see that by default it's going to be a core layer but i'm gonna actually make it be a finish layer and if i now do a click i can see that on the outside of the core of my column i have another layer and the thickness of it is 10 centimeters you can adjust this thickness again from over here and that is how you add an outer layer to your column if i select this column that we just placed we can see that right here we can change the structure of this outer layer they call it veneer structure let's say we're gonna have it be insulation and it automatically changes the pattern to that of an insulation layer uh, right over here i'm actually gonna deactivate this outer layer so that it's a bit more easy to see what we're doing over here you can actually just um, input the rotation angle so if you don't want to use this rotated option but you want your column rotated you can just input here whatever degree you want and then your column is just going to be placed at the angle that you input it i'm gonna set this back to zero again right over here you can set the anchor point of your column by default is in the middle but you can have it on the upper left corner of your column lower right corner so on and so forth we've already talked about these two options so either a vertical column or an inclined one i'm not sure what these two really do i think it has something to do with the way the wall wraps around the column um, i basically never use these but they're here from over here you can override the column surface so if you go back in our 3d view we can see that the masonry block columns actually look like masonry block if you want to override that 
you just click here and then you choose whatever surface you want for your column so that's pretty self-explanatory so these are basically all of the settings that you can find here if you click in the settings dialog or if you hit ctrl and t you can basically see the same settings over here but maybe a little bit more detailed so again from here you can change all of the settings we've talked about before I know that in starting with Archicad 23 there's a bunch more options and a bunch more things you can do with columns so I'm sorry I can't talk about those right now because I work in Archicad 22 but maybe in the future I'm gonna do a video addressing all of those changes so this was basically it a short video explaining the basics of the column tool in Archicad. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!